Today on Happiest Camper, I'm going to show you how to make this sewing machine mat and organizer. Start by cutting out the following fabric pieces. For the mat top fabric, you'll need one piece that is 18 inches by 29 inches. For the matte bottom fabric, you'll need one piece that is 18 inches by 29 inches. For the outside pocket fabric, you'll need one piece that is 5 inches by 28 inches. For your batting fabric, You'll need one piece that is 18 inches by 28 inches and one piece that is 5 inches by 28 inches. For the lining pocket fabric, you'll need one piece that is 5 inches by 28 inches. For the thread cacher outside fabric, you'll need two pieces that are 7 inches by 7 inches.
For the thread catcher lining fabric, you'll need an additional two pieces that are seven inches by seven inches. Finally, you'll need two pieces of Shape Flex interfacing that are 7 inches by 7 inches. Once that's all cut, place the matte bottom fabric right side down on the work table, followed by the larger batting piece, then place the matte top fabric right side up on top. Pin the edges together. Set aside. We're going to put together a couple of things, then tackle the sewing because it'll make it come together faster if you pin all the things at one time. Next, place the pocket lining fabric right side down on the work table, followed by the smaller batting piece, then place the pocket outside fabric right side up on top. Pin one long side and two of the short edges together just to help you hold it in place for the binding. Place one of the Shape Flex interfacing pieces onto the wrong side of a thread catcher outside fabric piece. Iron the Shape Flex interfacing onto the thread catcher outside fabric piece. Repeat with the other Shape Flex interfacing piece and thread catcher outside fabric piece. Now, place the thread catcher lining fabric wrong side to the Shape Flex interfacing side of your outside piece and pin a length of binding on one side. Repeat with the second thread catcher piece. Set aside. Then pin a length of binding on the remaining long side. Set aside.
Using the fabric pencils, mark a large X from corner to corner on the matte fabric top or bottom. Then mark a line from side to side and top to bottom. These marked locations are where we will quilt the piece in the next step. With the walking foot installed on your sewing machine, do not skip this. The walking foot is very important when making layered items like this to keep the insides from shifting while you sew. Top stitch along the marked lines of the mat. Set aside. Next, top stitch along the edge of the binding on the pocket. Set aside. Then, top stitch along the edge of the binding on the thread catcher pieces. Set aside. With all of those pieces sewn, align the bottom of the pocket piece along the bottom edge of the mat piece. Pin the binding along this aligned bottom edge, catching both the pocket and mat in the binding. Continue pinning the binding around the edge of the entire mat, taking care to fold the binding at the corners into a crisp 90 degree angle. Set aside. Then, place the two thread catcher pieces lining side to lining side with the binding sides aligned. Pin the binding along the two sides and bottom edge, catching both sides of the thread catcher in the binding. Take care to fold the binding at the corners into a crisp 90 degree angle. Set aside. Next, top stitch along the edge of the binding on the mat and bottom of the pocket. Set aside.
top stitch along the edge of the binding on the outside edges of the thread catcher. Now, you'll want to identify where you want your thread catcher to sit on the organizer. For a left-handed person, having the thread catcher on the left may be more appreciated. But since I'm right-handed, I wanted it on my right. Based on where you want the thread catcher to be, pin the soft length of Velcro to the front of your pocket along the binding. Then, Pin the stiff length of Velcro to the back side, your choice of which side is the back, of the thread catcher. Sew the Velcro in place, taking care to only sew the piece you want the Velcro attached to, not the piece underneath. To do this, I actually removed the front piece of my sewing machine to work the thread catcher over the end. Next, measure and mark where you would like your pocket partitions to be located along the front of the organizer. I marked two lines to create three larger pockets, because my scissors and whatnot tend to be large. But if you would like five to six smaller pockets, you do you. This pocket is plenty big enough to work whatever size pockets you'd like. Next, sew the marked pocket partitions in place catching both the pocket and mat in the sewing. Then, place the center of the ribbon onto the back of the mat and sew it in place with an X. Finally, trim your loose ends and enjoy being more organized. And that's it! Now you know how to sew a sewing machine mat with pockets. Isn't that just a fun and easy way to improve your sewing experience? Now your sewing space can stay nice and neat. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on all our great sewing content. We have lots of clothing sewing projects, bags, kitchen sewing projects, and other fun items you can make. Thanks for watching.